it's kind of fun. fun. It was fun. a fun scene. Uh, the breakdown of the scene is the police raid a house to, in a sense, or the SWAT raid the house to get a suspect, this only is, to yeah. find the suspect dead. Dead. Him. Yeah. Um, and it's a very well done scene, and I, um, I don't think we'll see behind the scenes. Or make, I, I may try to do a making of the scene to see everything that went into it, but you're going to see shots of like three, four SWAT members running by scene, and that was filmed one person running at a time. Because we only had, had one costume. One, one set of, of helmet, helmet, goggles, mask, vest, you know, a couple of different guns. So I had to have him dress up, him dress up, and Matt, Matt dress so basically up. basically he's perfected his, his, uh, his technique from the, first, from the first Resident Evil film, where Mike was, what, well, six yeah. different... Uh, Tech tactical member, yeah, yeah. People. Where, where you can kind of see the lines of everything. But this but that was with flawless. Pinnacle. Now that with Adobe, you can't see the line, you can't see anything, and it's very seamless. Like it. um, and what's really cool is we actually took the cars, kind of barricade the street, have police just run through the street, get behind cars, yeah, set we, up. We, we really made use of uh, outside of the house that we filmed that when we went around the neighborhood notifying people that we were going to be filming. And yeah, we had to notify the, the police. Having guns too. around and we had to notify the local Do you uh, remember the, the, the family we walked up? I was dressed yes. in a full police uniform. Oh yeah. Very convincing. Very if convincing. I wandered around ranch on this, holy crap. He was dressed as what looked of like. Of course, that, the, the kids that were on the on the block decided to sit right across the street and watch us. That was awesome. So we, we see a new family come in. It's like, well, we got to tell them because we don't <laughs> want them to freak out us running in the street with guns. So I'm dressed up as a, an entire police uniform. I'm, I'm in, a, a, I'm in a suit with a gun. With, with a badge on his belt. That's so he looks thought. like a detective. So we approach what we see is the mother and son. I'm like, excuse me, Matt, can we talk to you for a they second? You seem a little reserved and a little scared. So you went inside to get her husband. They come <laughs> out with the look like, what did we do wrong, officer? <laughs> and just the sheer oh, look God. of fear and panic on their face was great. I'm trying not to laugh. What we try to do is say it's just to kind of... Uh, yeah. It's just, oh, God. It, it's a very convincing... Well, um, the Resident people. Evil clips, you see, where this is the police. It, it's that outfit, but it's a uh, more refined uh, outfit now, more... A better shirt and more gear, you know, so um, very convincing. Um, but that's where we're at. Please anyway, we're having a lot of fun and uh, we're being very professional about it. We're going about this the right way. This is going to happen. It's going to be a major feature film. And uh, we are making plans to, um, to, of course, release it in different ways. Yes. Um, He's going to fix it so that there are two different versions, one for a high-definition DVD, high definition, which I don't know if you... I'm going to try to do Blu-ray. Um, but we're all, he's also going to do a special version tweaked in a certain way so that we can actually use it in a large-scale projector. Yes. Because we are planning to have a actual screening in a movie theater that the theater. we work at. Well, we gotta rent the theater, I think. It's gonna yeah, we're gonna have to rent the theater, so when it gets close to that time, uh, we're going to be calling for people to come out and see the movie, to donate so that we can rent out the entire theater, because we want to use the biggest, best theater, and that has 300 seats. Uh, I think it's a little bit more. I don't think back. we want to do the 300 seats, too, so just in the smaller one, because of the, the OSA projector. Um, you said it was better on a smaller screen. Yeah, because you could it. actually fit the, the oh, okay. screen. So we could, but still, even if the, if we use theater two, it's still about two hundred and thirty to two hundred and fifty yeah. seats. So we're gonna we're gonna try and call out to people to come and see, bring their friends and come see the movie. Uh, donate a little bit of money so that we can rent out the theater and uh, help pay for the uh, amazing effects and. Locations and props and costumes. If any because all of this is coming out of our pocket. Yeah, and we're all, we're all, you know, we're all ish. students and part-time workers, and uh, I'm a I'm a full-time student, part-time work. So, um, I mean, we're, we're open to donations. Anything anyone donates, will will post up. Um, they will go in the credits. They'll go in the credits, but we'll also do, do weekly updates, say this person donated this so we don't, you know, take money. 
what will make it obvious people are donating and what we'll do is maybe if anyone does decide to do that we'll, we'll open up a bank account with the three of us and we'll go there untouched right and we'll go from that no money will be spent in vain um, it'll all go towards the video as far as predominantly I'd like to put it towards the theater um, but there are new special effects um, I'm, I'm looking to get to my computer just crapped out um, but I think I know what the problem is so I gotta get that fixed which is why we're doing it on the iPhone because he's gonna edit it not me for once <laughs> Great idea, it won't be as good as his, but I'll mangle it the best I can with hedge clippers and staple gun. Um, so, if anyone wants to help out in any way, donations, just whatever, we're open to it. Um, you know, we really hope this doesn't turn out like Resident Evil. It, it won't. We, we've got people. Not people is not the issue. It's Right now, it's just the time of dealing with our move, maybe come in um, and, and get securing these locations. Um, everything else right now is solid, so um, if anyone has anything they can help out with um, to help speed this up, um, yeah, like I said, you'll get credit the thanks. If, if you live close by, you can be a part of it. If you live far away, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do something. We'll do a, maybe a monthly blog or bi-weekly blog or something. I know you two want to get heavy m more on the blog, video blogs. Um, so maybe we'll do like a bi-weekly video blog updating a thanks to you, you know, so um, get that going to show our appreciation. Um, and anyone who does donate, um, we'll get a copy of the movie. We'll get a copy of the movie on a printed, uh, we'll have a printed cover on the disc, a uh, printed custom sleeve and everything, um, either in a DVD format We're or a We're hoping to have format. it on Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, so one is the format, so we'll, that will be also your thanks for, for this. All this is, um, like I said, 100% ours. All music will be either our creation or royalty-free music that I've been buying. Um, all effects is my own effects. It's not going to be like the first Resident Evil movie or, or Resident Evil in general to where I'm taking stuff from the game, the music, the characters. This is all our own. All original. So so I have the rights to, to sell it if I want yes, to. Yes, you do. Um, so, but we need to get copyright. Yeah, so, who knows, once this is done, maybe we can submit it to some film festivals. Yeah, and, and if once it goes up, um, I don't know if I'm going to put it up on YouTube right away, because I do want to get right. a theater and submit it in a film festival mm -hmm. first. Um, and if that fails, maybe put it up on YouTube. Um, and if anyone wants to buy the higher res I'm not going to put it at full 1080 on YouTube. I'm going to keep it maybe at 720 at most, because I know people will download it. Um, but... The, the, the Blu-ray Blu or DVD will, of course, have all the behind-the-scenes extras, right. the process it took to There'll make There'll be scenes. so much more on the DVD. Um, possibly a two-disc. Um, so There's always um, plenty of bloopers. Bloopers. And great making of stuff. Donations, get a free copy. Um, if anyone just wants to buy it, um, then, I don't know, 20 bucks for Blu-ray, 10 bucks for DVD, tentatively right now. Um.